Here we show that our energy-based approach is significantly more robust to inversion and large deformation than traditional IFE. In this stress test, a cube is collapsed to a point and attempts to regain its initial relaxed shape when released. Our model is able to resolve itself for a wide range of Lemay parameters, while the comparable IFE implementation with clamp forces fails to uninvert for large Poisson's ratios. We perform another test where we randomly arrange the vertices of the cube mesh and again allow the cube to attempt to relax to its initial state. As before, our model resolves itself in both instances while the IFE implementation does not fully resolve for higher Poisson's ratios. We will now demonstrate the significance of a model's primary contour and show how this contour explains some failures of co-rotated that we avoid. This plot shows the singular values of the deformation gradient for three relaxing triangles with our C2 extended model. The arrows show the downhill direction of the local energy gradient. The singular values only lie in the non-shaded region as with IFE. Configurations are strongly attracted toward the yellow curve, which we call the primary contour. The shape of this curve depends on the model. This is the same setup, but with the co-rotated constitutive model. Unlike our model, the primary contour here crosses the axes into the inverted region. The presence of the co-rotated primary contour in the inverted region will cause some uninverted configurations to invert as they relax. Here we fix two vertices of a triangle to a line and stretch the third vertex. This setup constrains the first singular value to the green line. The singular values tend toward the primary contour, and the triangle inverts when sufficiently stretched. The tendency to invert in response to stretch is also apparent on a macroscopic scale, as we see with this square. Inverted elements are colored in red. Contrast the behavior of our model with that of the previous one. Our primary contour never crosses the axes, and the elements of the square stay uninverted regardless of the magnitude of stretch. In this 3D analog to the constrained triangle example, we stretch a tetrahedron with its base fixed to a plane. The plot shows the energy gradients for the unconstrained singular values. The yellow line is the portion of the primary contour satisfying the constraint. As the tetrahedron is stretched, the line shifts. When it reaches the origin, the primary contour no longer intersects the constraint plane and the configuration becomes unstable. In this illustration of the same example, the plots show the energy profile of the constrained system. Initially, there are two stable basins, corresponding to the rest configuration and its counterpart in the infeasible region. As the tetrahedron stretches, the minima move closer to each other and eventually form a kink. As a result, the dynamics go unstable, since the force of the new minimum is discontinuous. This weakness of co-rotated is particularly apparent when modeling large deformations. Here, we stretch a cube with our C2 extended model and with co-rotated. Our model handles the test without problems, while the co-rotated model inverts then behaves poorly. The inverted regions are colored in red. Adding a volume-preserving term to the co-rotated model partially improves its behavior. Here a fish has passed through a tube of very small diameter. Our model successfully handles the large deformation and the fish returns to its initial shape. Here we initially set the armadillo stiffness to zero and let it collapse. After a few seconds we reset the stiffness and it fully recovers its shape. We randomly scatter the vertices of an armadillo mesh and let it relax to rest. Our model successfully handles the many severely deformed and inverted elements. Here we pass two objects through gears. They both recover their original shape. Here we allow a rigid sphere to collide with an armadillo. We take a chain of several deformable rings and twist it until the chain is very kinked. Our model successfully handles the large strains and many collisions. Finally, we drop a number of jello cubes in a glass.